On Blues Radio International, we are here today in Baden, Switzerland, with Justina Lee Brown and Nick Niederman. Hi, how how are you? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> what, a, what a great thing to see both of you. It's hard to believe that uh, it was it was literally uh, sixty days ago that we first met in Memphis when you when you came by that uh, speed mentoring session and I was really very fortunate. I knew immediately when I met the two of you how special this was, but I had no idea how beautiful the music would be. And uh, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what's going on in Switzerland with uh, the coronavirus now. Well, Switzerland is, is uh, near to Italy and Italy is very bad. So we had the southern part that they speak Italian there in Switzerland. So there it is very bad, really, like almost like in Italy. I understand that they there closed. are up to 70,000 workers from Italy come into Lugano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Every day. So they brought it in and, and, and they now they close the border and try this and that. But it's it's quite hard here, and it's it's a total well, shutdown. It's it's difficult for all of us. And Justina, I know that you were able to connect with your beautiful mother in Nigeria for a few hours the other day. Please tell me what's going on in Nigeria, because while we in our world feel that we are constrained, I, I know that we have minimal hardships compared to much of the world. Um, Nigeria, it's uh, it's it's crazy at the moment because um, the government don't care about the people. There is no government for the people. It's a government for the government and government probably for the rich, and um, but for the average Nigerian and the real local Nigerians, like there is no protection from the system. So everybody is every man for himself, and uh, it's a self-protected society. It's been like that since I was born. So for you to, for job and for um, a good and safe environment, you have to do everything yourself. So right now, that's the fear that we have as local Nigerians. And we, Nigerians living abroad, we are so concerned about our people because we know how it is for them to survive on a daily basis. Many times, many family has not even a dollar for a day. So now that this whole pandemic thing and this whole uh, coronavirus, how are these local people going to, handle the situation. Some of them have just a, a little room that is the size of your kitchen with like eight to seven people living in that size of room because I used to live like that many years ago. So, and how will these people control the coronavirus? How will they survive? And every day is, every day for a local Nigerian person is an everyday survival. Like we, they have no savings in the bank. They have no reserve food somewhere. So as they go out to hustle, that's how, that's uh, the guarantee if they are going to get anything to survive, like breakfast or lunch or dinner. So now if they're saying everybody stay at home, stay at home, how can these people survive? A local woman who sells in the market, she sells her bread, her fish, her vegetables, because she wants to get like a 50 cent or a dollar for her children to have dinner and probably breakfast the next day. So that's probably all her life savings and all she depends on. So if you're telling her to stay at home, where is the bread? Where is the bread going to come from? Where is the um, the vegetables or the water? And, and many Nigerians don't even have water at home, drinking water. Not like if you open your tap, there is water. It's not the system like that back home. You have to walk miles to fetch water. But for the rich, it's similar to what we have here in Europe. But I'm talking about the average Nigerian. Yeah. The you know? other thing I read, and, uh, Justina, that really yeah, concerned that. me is that even for any amount of money, 17% of the people in Lagos cannot find housing because it doesn't exist. Exactly. It doesn't. It doesn't. Many people are homeless in Lagos. Many, many are homeless. You see some students, for young boys who finished university. Many university students are jobless. Like from the, I'm talking about from the age of 18 to 35. It is a big percentage of these people, 18 to 35. We're talking about the, the, the future of the, the country, 18 to 35, jobless, no sign of what they're going to do for their future, no direction, nothing. 
And right now, no money, no savings, no family to fall back to. And these are the people that most of the families are looking up to. Like, they are the future for many families. And many of them are stranded as well. And many of them finished, have the chance to go to school. Because I have teenage uh, young people in my family, my brothers and sisters. And they finished school. No, no system to find a job. And this is what they've been dealing with in the last four or five years. And now you have this whole panic thing, all this um, and stay at home, all this coronavirus, without a job, without a system that works for the youth and the young and for the people. And then family looking forward to their child finding a job so they can survive. Now everybody is trapped. Yes. You know what I mean? Like everybody is stranded. So what will these people do? This is my biggest concern. And this is what is happening right now. Everybody's panicking. My mother is telling me because she believes she's a very religious person. She says, don't worry. God is going to take everything. And that is one thing that we have been so, I don't want to call it brainwashed, but the, um, the spiritual leaders have made our people like fail to see the reality of life, of surviving. They only see the religious part of life. They don't see the the day-to-day -day part of life, they see it, but they make them not to be too aware of it. Like, don't worry, God will take care of everything. Don't worry. So everybody lives in faith in my society. And and faith, I believe in faith too. You know, we all need that faith, you know. But the reality is somebody needs a bread to eat the next day. Somebody needs rice. Somebody needs milk. Somebody needs something to survive. And somebody needs a home, a shelter. And many of these people don't even have it. They are squatting. Squatting means sharing homes, you know, like many families are sharing. You I understand do. what I'm trying to I, say? So this is like really a mess for my people. Like it makes me sleepless every night. Like since the last few weeks, I haven't been able to sleep properly because these people are in my heart, you know. I'm not there with them, but I feel it so heavily inside of me. And having my family, not just my immediate family, my cousins, my aunties and their children, and I know their situation. And my family, is a, if you spread it out, they are very big. Like I have over 20 to 30 members of families across Lagos. This is my own family. Then imagine all the families. So I really don't know how they're going to survive this. And the government, I don't know what they, and, and what I heard that is so scary is there's higher risk that a lot of people must, must have contacted it, but the government is probably just keeping it quiet for the people not to be, not to panic, because they know if the people panic, panic won't stop nothing. So if the people are not panicking, so what would they do to really stay safe in this crazy time? That is the whole question everywhere, and I don't have I, an answer. To I that. wanted. To, I was so moved when we sat down and talked in Memphis by the yes. story of how you got into music and how you were living at the time music came into your life. Do you mind sharing that with our audience? Yeah, like I told you, like I grew up in a situation that uh, I couldn't go to school. I was one of those kids that had no home for many years of my life. I had to survive in the street with my mother and struggle from homeless for many years, like no proper foundation from one family to the next, from one friend to the next. And uh, I really didn't, I can't even really tell you what my childhood was like because it was stolen from me. Like I had to grow up too early to be able to be strong for my mother because when I was, I remember as 12, she actually gave up trying to survive me and my sister and my other younger siblings. And I had to become an adult for her because she had nobody apart from herself and God that she believed in. And so, yeah, chat, growing up was tough. And so that's why I can understand how these people, because in my time, it was crazy for me. It was very difficult for me. But now it's more difficult, more difficult, because we have a lot of technology things that came out. And these technology things made surviving life in Africa harder, because now everything is so expensive. Everything is before a dollar is something we can probably survive for one week or, or before. In my time when I was a young girl, and we don't even see a dollar. So if I go to sing at a young age of 13, 14, I make a dollar for like uh, one week for my family to be able to eat. But now, a dollar, you need, a family need a dollar per day. Yes, you, I do. You understand what I'm saying? So that's a big difference. And to get a dollar, then 
at least you, it, it was hard to get this dollar for one week, but now it's more hard and difficult to get one dollar for one day. So it's really the struggle is more, I don't know how to put it, but much more difficult for these local people, this average Nigerian that really has no idea of where my next meal is going to come from. And you know, if we are saying stay at home, these people, if they stay at home with no nothing, not being aware of what, not knowing what they're going to eat the next day, how are they going to respect this rule of staying at home? When you described to us right. Right. how you got into music, I was very interested that you actually started out as a percussionist with the bottles of water. Can you tell us about that? <laughs> uh, in the street, yeah, I <laughs> found my reading because I didn't know what music was for me, you know, sitting in the street and waiting for my mother to sell this pack of water that she was carrying in her head. And this water costs like one cent. She go have to sell like 10 or 20 packs a day. That's how we could get something at that time. So sitting there with this big box where she stored them, it's like a local refrigerator. You have the water, you put the ice in it to keep it cold for the people. So I was just playing with it. So that's how I found music in me. I'm playing with it and reading coming out of my mouth and singing and found that there was people interested looking at me and tipping. They actually thought I was I was um, probably begging for money. <laughs> so I thought, oh, she needed tips. That's why she's doing that. And do it. so at the other day, I end up making 20 cents when my mother sell two or three or whatever, three cents a day. So that's that's how music wow. came into me. Perhaps we have to do this again, you know, who knows? <laughs> now, <laughs> exactly. We don't have any concert at any the moment. Concert so that's exactly. we sit here and have time, but perhaps yeah. we start again with tipping. Now, in the I think it's going to change many things. And you know what? One of the yeah. pieces of music you played for us uh, that I was so moved by and, and the story behind it was You Never Know. And And since the time I met you, I can't tell you how many times I've listened no. to that, but it now has a very different mm -hmm. meaning for me than it did just 60 days ago when I first yeah. heard it. Can you tell us the Beautiful. story behind it and Beautiful. perhaps play that for us? Sure. Um, you never know. It's 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 uh, like I told you. This, the 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 song itself was uh, when when I got the inspiration of that song. It was from an, one of my names. You know. Like we have different names in my country. Your auntie can name you. Your father can give you a name. Your uncle, the neighbor on the street can give you a name. So that's how the whole name thing, one African person can have like 10 names, you know. So one of my name is called Oye Mechi. And this name was given to me by my mother about, I was about four or four and a half year old. And one of the times she was sleeping in the street with me and it was raining heavily and she saw how I was shivering. And she couldn't protect me so much. She covered me up with the tapolin that she had, and she was crying. But she thought I was sleeping. But I saw tears dropping from my mother's eyes. And she held me and said, Oye Mechi. And Oye Mechi means who knows tomorrow. Nobody knows what tomorrow may be. So that's, the, that's where the original inspiration came for this song. And when I shared it with Nick, and Nick helped me repackage it and make it sound like the magic that it is today. So I changed the title from the, the traditional title to translated it into English, call it You Never Know. So that's, that's what the song is about. And it's so crazy, like, like you said, 60 days ago, we met and we had this fantastic time in Memphis and sharing music, sharing inspiration, getting to know each other. And here we are now, we are all prisoners in our own home. Not really prisoners, but if you look at it, like we are all trapped in our own home like nobody's in a hurry to rush out anymore hurry to do this hurry to do that we have to go back to the roots that's the way i see it to the roots to inside ourselves and find who we truly are and contain our own self be able to handle ourselves because we were trying all this time in this world trying to handle everything but now everybody have to learn one thing that god has sent us to do here learn yourself and learn your neighbor your neighbor is nick is my neighbor your baby not right dear to you. She's your neighbor. Learning each other, going back for, to the roots, you know? And for me, that's what uh, is happening right now. In a way, it's good. And the other way, it's crazy that we are losing people in this experience. But if we look at it, we should have yeah. it in a positive way, you know? 
embrace it and don't fill it up with all negativity and just see the good side of it and pray for those people that we've lost. Yeah, there is still the music. Exactly. The music is still there and music is now very important. It is, and we can't thank you enough for joining us today to do this because this song and your music uh, moved me so much that I, I'm really honored to be able to share it with everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, 
Thank you so Thank much. You. Wonderful. What a message. <laughs> what a message. When your mother gave you that name, could she ever have envisioned that you'd be here singing that with us? Wow. <laughs> That's like nobody knows what tomorrow may be. Oh yeah, Meiji. And it's a it's a it's a language from Nigeria. It's the Igbo language from the eastern part of Nigeria. Oh yeah, Meiji. Who knows tomorrow? Absolutely beautiful. Nobody. Could you play something else for us? Sure. What would you like to um, listen? Do you no, have that, that, uh, Do you have that made my day just to hear, you never know, but I'd love to hear all of your music is so wonderful. And I just want to share as much of it as we can with our audience. So. Gave me tears just, you know, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. There's, there's a lot of possibilities. Joy is a possibility. It's a very funny, very positive song. The other one is um, yeah. Tomorrow Never Comes. Yeah. Let's, let's nice play too. another ballad. You want to hear another ballad? I would love to. Please. Yeah. Okay. This is another ballad, a regional song. It's called Tomorrow Never Comes. You know, like how we all always make big dreams and big plans for tomorrow when we can live it today, you know? So that's the inspiration behind the song. Make a difference Start with it. Waiting for a change. It's a waste of time. Make a difference. Start within your heart. Waiting for a change. It's a waste of time. Cause what you got is now Today it's a beautiful present Use it wise as you can Before it's late Cause what you got is right now Today it's a beautiful present Use it wise as you can before we say, cause tomorrow never comes. Different start heart reading your heart, waiting for a change. It's a waste of time. Make a difference. Start within your heart. Waiting for a change. It's a waste of time. Cause what we got is now. Today it's a beautiful present. Use it wise as you can. Cause what you got is right now Today it's a beautiful phrase Use it wise as you can Before it's late Cause tomorrow may even What you got 
is now. Today it's a beautiful present. Use it wise as you can before we say, hey, hey, hey. Stunning. Oh, man. It's unbelievable. Wow. And, and to hear you, Beautiful. these songs have such a different meaning today than they did such mm -hmm. a short time ago. And that's the beauty of these compositions. Yeah. Yeah. True. Tomorrow never comes, you know? So. <laughs> today is what we have. So what even is with uh, the fact that we've uh, lost all the things we normally go out and do, the challenge, as you said, Justine, is for us to make use of the time here to appreciate today, the people around us, and to uh, keep these connections. Yes. And you're, you're delivering a lot of great healing to everyone right now. Uh, uh, this is Deep in our heart to, to check all the things because we've done a lot as humans. We've, we've done a lot of craziness to this world, to this beautiful world that's been given to us. We've given love, we've given a lot of hates, we've given a lot of destructions to the planet Earth. And the planet Earth has been crying, the mother Earth has been crying, crying for so long that we need healing, we need to heal each other. And we all have just get, we've given deaf ears to the, to, the, to the crying out of Mother Earth. And we just kept going, 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 fighting for everything. Uh, countries going to war, people killing each other, people hurting each other, hating. And Mother Earth kind of got us all now. Like, sit down, everybody, shut up, stop, make a break go inside of you. The most important thing is you and I, is humans. Matthias, now you have big cars. How many places in these houses can you occupy at the same time? One room, one place. And we acquire a lot of material things for what? A lot of people have so much. This is the time that we see that we have been robbing each other. So many, have, so many people have a lot and the other side have none. Is because we robbed each other. So now Mother Earth has been warning us all this while, but we gave deaf ears to it, to the call. And now it's a force. It's not a call anymore. It's a must do now. You sit your ass down in your private place. Think about all the craziness. What have you given to this earth? What have you contributed? It's not by material things. It's from the heart. What has your heart given to this world? So now it's time for us to really, really connect with heart connect with our inner spirit. And this way, we can heal each other together from all the craziness that we have impacted in this beautiful world and gifted. How beautiful, how beautiful. And your music, your music helps oh, great. us do that. Yes. Uh, I think about this when I listen to you. So what would you like yes. to play next? Connecting. I think we should pray something very happy because uh, it's a time, It's like I said before, it's not a time, it's a time to reflect, to think, but also a time to be grateful, to really be grateful because if we look at it, we are actually so blessed. We are all so blessed. Look at, look at you, I'm, I'm here now with you on Skype, making an interview in America and we're here sharing beautiful moments. So that's a gift of life. And that is the gift that the world, the, the creativity, the, the talents that we have, somebody invented this and we are amazing. sharing it. So it's amazing. So we have to be grateful for the things that we have achieved as humans. Right now, it's not all about just achieving, achieving. It's now to share. 
and listen and appreciate. So joy is the next song. Joy is to uplift our spirit, and make us know that we've done great with ourselves and we can be very proud of the things that we've done. Yeah, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Just changed. 
<laughs> miraculous. Yeah, totally. Totally. Exactly. <laughs> That's what music can do, change atmospheres, energies, vibrations, mm -hmm. and it's so important. More than people know. I think know. so, and I think it really yes. it's, it happens. Chemical <laughs> changes occur in our body. There are many things that happen when we listen to music, and it's it's all so positive. And think about all the people that uh, are sitting alone, isolated, possibly depressed a little bit. And I, they hear that. Mm. I don't know how you can be. It's it's you you, you bottled <laughs> up the joy and you send it uh, around the world. Do you mind continuing to play yeah. and sing because it's so spectacular? I want to share as much of this as I can. I know it, it may be unreasonable at this point, and you can tell me that, you know, no more, but uh, as long as you're willing to keep playing, this is fantastic. And, and Justina, you are so inspiring. We love it. <laughs> you know, this is, a, this, is, this is actually a very clean ex ex clean feeling right now I feel because you know in the last uh, two weeks I've been trying to stay positive you know very strong positive but in between the days you just fall <sighs> like oh you fall in that hole to come out from that hole again and say okay I can do it I can do it I can do it then you fall again <laughs> you know so this is this conversation now and this performance is one of those because yesterday night I was struggling to sleep. I was really in a hole a little bit yeah, last night because I, I saw a lot of things like I speak to you about my country and all of that put me in this hole again. Mm -hmm. And I hate to be in that hole, you know. I just want to live in my spirit. And this is what the song has done to us right now, uplift us all, you know. from that, And that's what we all have to do, uplift ourselves. Despite we see the negativity, yeah. But we turn the whole negativity into positiveness, you know, into positivity. And that's what can keep us to survive this crazy time. So what, what next song do you want to do? What we do? From the album, <clears throat> from the black and white feeling album, the people Let's have to go. do the black and white feeling thing. Okay, so we sing Love the, it. the song then, the black and white feeling song for you. And, uh, black and white feeling. Love it, so yeah. Back is about black and white feeling. We changed the whole thing uh, into <laughs> <laughs> perhaps we felt it before. Yeah. <laughs> Musicians got their special uh, thing. We will see. Black and white feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, people, how do we go wrong when we 
Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I'll tell you what. And we've done a lot of these. I never sing along with anything, but I do with you. <laughs> yeah. She well, makes us sing along. It, it, it inspires people. And I, I, I know this is a feeling that's Hopefully. being shared by everyone who's watching this now. You two are so beautiful together and, and what you create and what you bring to people is such a positive message. And even the, the parts that, uh, you know, uh, deal with the very difficult topics you do just so beautifully. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there another one from the album that you'd like to share with us? <laughs> just just really I want to hear, hear more. Oh, oh, this is the last time I'll ask you, but I... The last time I'll ask you during this phone call, let me correct that because yeah. I'll be asking you again uh, over the years. It is also Jesse's birthday, so maybe get him a Yes, it is. Happy what? birthday to you. <clears throat> Happy birthday day. Yeah, Play. just go on. Happy birthday, dear Jesse. Happy birthday to you. Happy uh, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jesse. Happy birthday to you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Happy birthday, Jesse. How, 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 how young are you today? I don't think you want to know. If I may ask. <laughs> I want to know. I'm so curious because you look so good, baby. And I'm yeah. so curious. If you're open to tell me. You. I'll, I'll tell you offline. I'm a, I'm, I'm a. <laughs> offline. <laughs> He's a mysterious creature. <laughs> but, but I want, I but that. I want your guess first. I'll, I'll, I'll take your guess and then I'll tell you the real answer. <laughs> no problem. That's offline. We keep all of that offline. So right now we, we give you carry me. Carry me is a very important song for us. Right too. now. It's about carrying each other. It's the feeling of be carried. Who will carry me when I fall? Mm -hmm. uh, this is something deep inside of everybody of us. But she experiences it <laughs> much more than we ever can. We so all experience it in our own way, you know. It's everybody has their crazy and big own experience in falling, in standing up again, in fighting life, because we all have flesh and blood, you know. So. It's not easy everywhere around the whole globe. And Carry Me, it's a, <clears throat> you know, when, when I had this expression of that song, was inspired by the situation I faced in that time. Because I, I felt like I was in this hole that I never can get out of it. I, I, I just gave up. Like, I really felt like, okay, Justina, it's over. It's done. <clears throat> and meeting with Nick and uh, Nick playing this uh, great melody and great accords and his and this instrument that he played to me and that just kind of bust me into tears and uh, from being emotional inside I was hiding the tears inside because I don't want him to see it and just freestyling to the melody that he was playing to the reading he was playing from a freestyle came this beautiful song you know <clears throat> because it came from a place of truth it's nothing to rehearse or to think about it was just a freestyle and we didn't change the freestyle. We kept it like that. <clears throat> so this is Carry Me from the amazing album, Black and White Feet. <laughs> Open my eyes, Lord, I see you. 
nothing clean. You came here and you said, I want to love. But I was worried about things that you've done. Now you are here talking about love. After your story, everything I worked for, oh, they weren't me, but I still gave you my all. But every one thing I like to know for sure. Would you carry me when I fall? Would you carry me when I fall? I want to know if this love will go wrong. to the show because I'm scared of this kind of your hurts. So tell me, baby, who be when I hope? I want to know this ocean. Would you carry me when I fall? Would you carry when I fall? I don't know what's going through your mind and your soul right now. But oh, baby, please, oh baby, please let me speak for myself and I. Cause I know how you let me, I know how you let the wrong teeth and dry. And I don't wanna feel, I don't wanna feel this hurt on that floor. So when you carry me, 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 me,
You leave me speechless. This is uh, the. I, uh, I thank you both for taking the time with us today. And Justina, thank you for helping us explain to the world that uh, the world we live in isn't the only one, and that there are people out there uh, with a lot less who will feel the impact of this, uh, both in terms of health care and in terms of the economic devastation. Uh, in a way that we can only imagine, and we need to remain mindful of people like your mother uh, who are living through this in a way that we can only uh, read about, and we need to feel that. You've helped us do that. You've brought us, uh, you know, tears as well as inspiration and hope and uplifted me in a way that uh, I don't even have words for. So. Thank you both for spending this time with us today. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so grateful that I can well, do that. And thank you also for doing this because uh, we would have just been roaming about in the house right now or in our own business. Well, you brought us to sit down and face you on, on Skype and share this amazing moment and this feeling together. So we appreciate that. Thank you very much. And um, for also believing in what we are doing and in our, our creativity and in our gifts to contribute to your fans and to your people around you. And uh, God bless you for sharing your platform with us as well. And uh, we appreciate because that's love in, a, in, in, in another big well, a, way. A lot of Thank big you. and deep okay. love coming to you both from Florida Please convey it to your mother and the rest of your family as well. We'll be thinking of them as we go through these days. And we will look forward to being together in person. Imagine how joyous that's going to be the next yes. time that happens. <laughs> we, we look Can't forward wait. to it. Oh. And thank you both. I love you both and uh, wish you the very best. Stay healthy. And uh, we will look forward to being in touch. And, and you we, too. And we carry each other. Yes, that's carry each other. Carry we need each to other. Do that too. Thank that's you. what we all get. Thank you. And stay stay safe, guys. Okay. Stay healthy. Thank okay. you. Be take well, care. guys. Let me yeah. take a picture of everybody before we <laughs> sign off here. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> I love it. Me. <laughs> okay. We love it. Thank you so much. This was really beautiful. And uh, wow. This is the best birthday gift I've gotten. Uh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday, yeah. birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Jesse. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. How much fun. Okay, ciao. Thank you. Bye-bye. Ciao.